so this is the mock test of radar subject i hope you have seen all the questions and you have answered all the questions within the given time so uh, here in this video we are preparing for uh, the examinations of keltron engineer bugs rifleman trainee and also isro technical assistant examinations and today we are going to discuss the questions from radar subject okay so uh, if you are preparing for any of this examinations or if some of your friends is preparing for any of this examinations please do share these videos with them and also suggest the channel to those people okay so uh, we are going to see the radar questions and in this uh, question session i actually have included more theory questions only if you want to uh, have numerical questions there are uh, two three videos on numerical questions only given in the radar playlist okay you can make use of those videos to have a uh, idea about radar numericals okay so let us see the question answers one by one first question is radar uses dash waves so the full form of radar itself is what is radar radar is radio detection sorry so radar is radio detection and ranging okay radio detection and ranging means it is actually working on the principle of sound wave reflection or radio wave reflection so the basic principle of a radar is there will be a transmitter there is some target so this is a target who who which we want to detect and this is our radar and the transmitter of this radar will be sending some pulses which will go and hit the target and some reflections will be coming back to the radar this is the radar actually okay and it will calculate the time difference between this uh, the sent pulse and the echo so the pulse this is the pulse which we are sending and this is the echo that we are receiving so it will calculate the time difference between the two pulses or two signals and then it will find the location of this target this is the basic working principle of a radar if you don't know about anything about a radar then this is the working principle and generally we say that the radar is working based on the principle of sound wave reflection some people say it is radio wave reflection anyway the basic principle is to reflect the waves okay that is make the waves reflect by hitting on the target so the radar is sending a pulse it will hit on the target and it will the wave will come back or, or an echo will come back okay and this echo is made used or it is been used to find the location of the target that is a principle of a radar okay here very clearly you can see from the exp expansion of radar itself it is nothing but radio detection and ranging means it is going to detect and send dash waves radio waves okay it is going to detect and send radio waves only okay so radar systems uses radio waves it is a system used to determine the parameters like range angle velocity anything of the target can be determined okay so various type of radars are actually there and various properties of the radars are there and by making use of these properties we can find the the distance the velocity the angle everything we can find okay so correct answer is option a radio waves is the answer okay next question second question is so which of the following systems is like radar that is some systems are actually given in the options out of which which one is having a working principle similar to radar so what are the uh, options let us see first one is vor vor means very high frequency omni directional range okay it is actually uh, something connected with the range it is not actually a system it is very high frequency omni directional range i'll write it on the board for you vor it is very high frequency omni directional range 
this is P O R. Okay. Next one, I L S. This is the second option, right? I L S means instrument landing system. Again, it is not related to or similar to radar. It is something or some systems used for landing of instruments, some satellite related systems and all. Okay. So, ILS is instrument landing system. Then, second, third one is LIDAR. So, the name itself is actually very similar to radar only. Okay. So, LIDAR means light detection and ranging. So, for radar, we have radio detection means we are sending radio waves. Here we are sending light waves. Okay. So, light detection and range. This is LIDAR. Next one is VHF. VHF is nothing but very high frequency. It is a frequency range. So, out of these options, very clearly you can see that LIDAR is having or it is having a working principle similar to radar or it is similar or it is like radar okay so correct answer is option c is the correct answer i hope these abbreviations are clear to you okay next question the third question third question is a motion that brings about change in number of wavelengths between the reflector and the radar, it in, in turn causes dash. A. Time shift. B. Phase shift. C. Frequency shift. D. Velocity shift. Okay. So, consider that there is a, I will first explain the question to you. This is a target which the radar is interested in detecting. This is the radar. So, the question is saying that a motion that brings about change in the number of wavelengths between the reflector and the radar. So, there is a motion happening to the target or the radar. Any of this is moving. Mostly, the target will only move. Okay. So, there is a motion happening to the target and there is some number of wavelength uh, changes happening in the, that is happening between the reflector, that is the reflector means the target, the target and the radar. So, it can cause change in dash. That is, it can cause either time shift, phase shift, frequency shift or velocity shift. Velocity shift. So, mostly when uh, any of this, that is, either radar or the target is moving, there is actually shift happening in frequency. Okay. Frequency shift is actually happening. And there is a very famous phenomena called Doppler, Doppler effect, which is happening due to this motion. Okay, so this is the Doppler shift or frequency shift is actually happening. Correct answer is option C. And this is in turn happening due to the motion of the target or the radar. Okay, so due to this motion, there is a frequency shift happening. Okay, correct answer is option C, frequency shift. Next question. So, next question is, what is the full form of MTI? MTI is again a type of radar. There are various types of radar, pulsed radar, normal radar, MTI radar, CW radar, continuous wave radar. So, these are the various types of radars. Now, what is the full form of MTI? Option A, major target indication. B, moving target indication. C, main target indication. D, missile target indication. Correct answer is, it is moving target indication. So, MTI radar means moving target indication. So, MTI refers to moving target indication and it may be considered as a mode in which the radar systems are operated as to discriminate the target against any form of clutter. Means, even if there is some movement or some uh, location changes happening to the target, it can detect or it can identify the location of that target. That's why it is called as moving target indication radar. Okay. So, that is a full form. Correct answer is option B is the correct answer. Okay. Next question. Fifth 
fifth question okay the term radar cross section defines dash so in the initial video uh, of numerical radar numericals i have actually discussed regarding the radar range equation what are the various terms in the radar range equation everything i have uh, explained in detail okay so please do watch the video on radar numericals part 1 okay part 1 is very useful i am i am i can guarantee you that okay so here the question is asking the term radar cross section defines dash a scattering ability of the target b power radiating ability of the target c amount of energy scattered by unwanted objects d cross section of radar area through which energy is transmitted correct answer is radar cross section of the target the term radar cross section of the target means the particular consider that this is your target okay and the particular area of the target which can actually reflect the or scatter the waves back or reflect the waves back is called radar cross section of the target okay so we say it is cross section of the target means it is the scattering ability of the target so our principle is that there is a radar it is going to send some waves and this waves will be hitting off the hitting on the target and it has to scatter back or it has to come back or reflect back towards the radar and the particular area in which it is going to hit or the area which is going to scatter the light back is called radar cross section of the target so it is nothing but the scattering ability of the target so correct answer is option a i hope this term is clear and generally it is expressed using the term sigma there are other uh, notations also but it is generally represented using sigma okay so radar cross section is defined as a ratio of scattered power in any given direction to the power incident on it okay so it is actually uh, expressed in units of meter square okay it is some area okay so this is radar cross section and it is nothing but the scattering ability okay correct answer is option a next question sixth question a dash determines the target range by measuring the round trip time of a pulsed microwave signal so this is actually asking regarding a type of radar that is which radar determines the target range by measuring the round trip time of the pulsed microwave signal okay so again there is a radar and there is a target so our aim is to find the range or the distance at which the target is located so we are interested in finding at what distance the target is located from this radar so in order to determine this range if we are using the round trip time means round trip time means first we are sending the signal or the pulse then an echo is received and this round trip time of the microwave signal or the signal that we are sending is calculated and then we make use of this calculation to find the range and this type of radar is called pulse radar it is actually called pulsed radar okay or pulse radar okay correct answer is option a next question the radar in which both transmission and reception is done using the same antenna is called dash a monostatic b bistatic c monopole and last option d dipole so the radar transmits the electromagnetic waves and receive the waves that are reflected by the object so that is the basic principle right so if both that is a uh, transmission and reception is done if it is with the help of the same antenna it is called a monostatic radar that is if a single antenna is used for transmission and reception of signals then it is called a monostatic radar 
this is the option okay so correct answer is option a is the correct answer okay so we have discussed seven questions in this video all the questions were related or from the subject called radar okay so if you are interested in uh, studying the numericals i would suggest you to watch the uh, numerical videos which are been given in the radar playlist okay so if you found this video useful please do give it a thumbs up also share it with your friends and if you want more videos please do subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and keep on watching